Hey everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Rock. I'm Russell, and you're not. Unless your name is also Russell, in which case, you are also Russell. Anyway, it's a gorgeous day. It's about, you see that crane? Willow. <laughs> Willow saw the crane. <laughs> anyway, it's about 23 Celsius. Here. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, as I said, a beautiful day. There's like a breath of wind going on, so some bugs will be around, although none are bug bothering me right now. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot going on today. I My internet is down, which is a pain when you're trying to do research on products. Um, there's a product I want to use for the the rain screen underneath the external cladding, underneath the board and batten. It was called Home Slicker. Uh, uh, who is Skip? I don't remember who Skip is. Anyway, he put me onto it. And uh, but it's really expensive, so I want to do some research. I want to reach out to the parent company and see if they wanted to sponsor a video. You know, I'm not looking for any freebies, just you know, a nice little discount. Because otherwise, I'm using uh, pressure treated plywood and cutting it into strips and using that as the uh, the slabs underneath. The, what do you call those? There is not a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful. Anyway, I, yeah, no internet connection today, which is rare. I almost always have internet. It's, it's been really good. Today, not so good. Ever since I got up this morning, there's been nothing. Um, anyway, one of the projects I got today is I ordered a, uh, a swing for the deck here, a double, a double seater. I think it's a double seater. Eventually, one day, I'd love to make one if I, ha if I get all the proper tools here. But for now, I realize we're missing out on some quality time. Quality time with City Girl. Because, like, I had several chairs up here on the deck, and they all blew off at one point or another. They all broke. They're all garbage. I only have one chair up here that's really good for sitting, but it's not good for sitting if you're sitting with somebody. So I thought, screw it. I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to set it up today. And it's got a... Um, it's one of those swings that comes with a canopy overhead. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to use that, or I just want to kind of attach it to the, the roof here. If I attach it to the roof, you got a good long swing. Um, but if I put the canopy over top, well, one thing we can do is we can put mosquito netting around it. I don't want to... People ask me all the time, are you going to put mosquito netting around your whole deck? And I think, I don't really want to get into that, and it would be really difficult to block all the entrances for mosquitoes. And I don't want to do that anyway. I, I kind of like the open feel, but it'd be nice to have some mosquito netting just around the swing so that we could sit out in the evening and kind of enjoy it. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably decide as I'm setting it up. Uh, maybe I'll just take a look at the instructions and see how many steps it saves by not doing that part of it. Or whether it's even possible, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. I'm going to... Uh, Get started on some breakfast here. I'm not sure what I'm going to have just yet. But I got some sausages I want to use. Some maple sausages. we It's been a real dry spell here. Uh, well, not a real dry spell. But I can see the water level is down in the pond. We need some rain. But, uh, you know, that's another thing I got to do today is water the plants. Anyway, let's go have some breakfast. Hummingbird's getting some breakfast. Yeah, good doggers.
My toaster seems to have two settings. Not cooked and burnt. Toast is an amazing invention when you think about it. I mean, what what genius took one look at bread and said, cook it again? This table's got to go. Not sure where, though. Hmm. Fiend tapes the straps. Everything else. Controller. Oh, that's a paddle. <laughs> it doesn't go with the swings. You don't paddle your swings, yeah. That's another thing that's coming. Ah! Okay. What's in this thing then? Out sunny. by the straps. But everybody always does. <laughs> I could have cut something. <clears throat> oh boy. This is obviously going to take a lot of work. There's a whole pile of stuff in here. So, I'm going to turn the camera off and just Ikea this thing together. Hopefully it won't take too long. It's kind of cool how they do this these days. Like, there's all the hardware right there. All the nuts and washers are lined up. Those nylock nuts and uh, even a couple of tools on the end there. That's pretty cool. Wouldn't you know it, one of my pipes is bent here. This one right here, it's bent inwards, and it's one of those ones where another pipe goes into it, so it's not fitting. I tried a hammer on it, but that didn't work. I'm trying something more serious here, without destroying it. Oh, I should take this moment to thank, uh, Saturday night, of course, was my birthday bash, downtown Toronto. And I gotta thank Netman, otherwise known as J, otherwise known as J-Dog, for picking up the, uh, the bill at that restaurant we're at, the, the Bruce, Brew, the Miller, the Brew, Mill, the Mill Brew, whatever that restaurant, I don't know. Anyway, thanks J-Dog, we really appreciate it. It was pretty funny, because we asked for the bill, we are gonna leave and go somewhere else. And the bill came along, the waiter came along and dropped the bill, that sweaty dude, who looked just like James, what was that guy who does the uh, karaoke carpool? I forget, I forget his name. Anyway, looked just like that guy. And he took off and we're like 
figuring out money and stuff. And another uh, uh, woman came along. She snatched up the receipt and crumpled it up and ran off with it. And we went, what? What happened? <laughs> J-Dog happened. <laughs> Which is cool. So he called in from North Carolina. Called in from North Carolina to pay the bill. <laughs> anyway, thanks J-Dog. Appreciate it. We had so much fun that night. All right, the moment of the toots. The moment of the toots coming up. Okay, I guess, I don't, I don't know. I gotta, <laughs> I still got a bunch of bolts to tighten up. Uh, I wanted to get in together first, and then I gotta move all this crap off of here. That, so I, we actually have room for the swing. And then I'll bring you guys back and show you the final product. Well, first test, these tiny little cushions. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's only a couple things. I've only got one real problem with it now, and that's the canopy. I thought it was going to be a lot higher for some reason, but it's not, and it blocks this window just perfectly. Um, however, it's actually really easy to take the canopy on and off. In fact, I think if it's got a couple of knobs here, I don't. Can you see this here? So. That, a knob on this side, a knob on that side. If I take those out, this whole thing just lifts right off. That's why it's so wobbly at the moment. Yeah, it's so wobbly. So it's pretty easy to do that. The other thing I could do is you can change the pitch of the canopy as well. And if I if I kind of flatten it out, it might be okay to look out the window. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really impressed with these cushions. They could have done a, a lot nicer job with that. There's just a one piece flimsy crap and uh, there's like threads hanging off of it like it could, it could have been a lot better done anyway there's there's something we can do here as well let's see Let me go flying off this thing, you'll know why. That's a big snake. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, is that ever uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, Jesus. My feet are hanging off one end, and uh, the bar in the middle, you can't lie anywhere near it, because it's just, it's sticking up, this bar that's going through this way. Holy crap. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what good that does you. Uh, 
don't know, maybe a couple of kids could lie down on here. Because you get on one side or the other and look what happens. <laughs> oh, that's a waste. That's a wasted feature. Okay. Well, anyway, City Girl and I will enjoy sitting here. Um, one neat thing is, whoa, she gets here Thursday and this video isn't coming out till Friday. She doesn't know that this is here, that I'm setting it up. So it will be a surprise for her. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. There's an odd pitch to it as well, like, I just feel like I'm a little further forward than I should be. And why is that moving? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll, res I'll try it out some more and I'll give you guys my thoughts. I don't know why that should move like that. That's bizarre. We're gonna head out and check out the Dragon's Willow. Man, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the trail cam before it gets too hot. It's supposed to hit 30 Celsius today. 86, 87 Fahrenheit. Pretty warm. And I forgot my phone. Okay. Oh, Willow. She, she just ran into me with her mouth. Right into my knee. That ah, hurt. <laughs> so I bought this thing. It's supposed to keep away deer flies and horse flies. For one thing, I can't figure out how to mount it to anything. <laughs> if I clip it to my hat, it just kind of, the hat just folds over. And secondly, it doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work with a dam. So that was a waste of money. I mean, you can see right now, there's deer flies buzzing me. There's one on my hand. <laughs> Yeah, nope. They don't care. It's a, it's a damn shame. It, the same thing is happening this year that happened last year. It, it's dry and uh, all the berry plants are all drying up. It's a real shame. Oh, God. <laughs> I can protect my head and my body. I can't protect my hands. Unfortunately, because I'll, I don't know what I get, like a heat rash or something, sweat rash. Ugh. Even holding my hands up is, they're just diving for my hands right now. Gah. The dogs are just getting brutalized by the deer flies, so I'm taking them back to the cabin and I'll come back for the, for the car to the trail cam. Damn it. This really sucks. Ugh. Well, the dogs are back in the cabin. I'm out here again. Yeah, I could tell there's something really wrong when Junebug would run along. She just stopped and sat down and didn't do anything. Just sat there, which she's never done before. Especially not when there's, you know, 20 deer flies buzzing around her. They know better than that. They know how to keep going. Run right on my camera. So what I did when she was sitting there, I ran my hand down her tummy. I had a feeling what was wrong. Ran my hand down her tummy, came away with four deer flies. And I noticed Willow was stopping often to, to lick her tummy as well. There's one that wants to land right on my hand. <laughs> so I was like, that's it. They, they can't protect their tummies very well. And that, I haven't really seen that before where the deer flies just go straight for the tummy. Well, some of them anyway. Where the hell am I? <laughs> yeah, walking and talking and... Yeah, so I, as I take them back to the cabin. There's actually a few times a year when hiking is really nice and very enjoyable. Uh, like October, November, into December. And then around April, March, April, when the snow starts to melt. Uh, September is also good, but September you still get the thick, thick foliage coming up. 
October it starts to die off. The rest of the year there's always something. There's either a lot of snow or a lot of bugs or a lot of foliage. Anyway, we're here. Man, what an ordeal. I'm sweating like crazy. Anyway, looking forward to seeing what's on the uh, the trail cam because uh, last time I was over there, I switched it to video mode. Uh, it was in picture mode for a long time because the sensitivity was too high and it would pick up everything, you know, blade of grass moving. Hey, let's take a picture of that. So I'd end up with thousands of pictures, but I think uh, I got the sensitivity setting just right now. So I switched it back to video and there's been a fawn that's been hanging around that area. And the fawn has also been over here. We've seen it uh, crossing the beaver dam and over to Anukshuk Point there. So, if he's still around, or she, I'm not sure what it is, hopefully we got some good video. Let's check it out. So I thought I'd play one of my VR games and show you what it's about. Poker! It's like 5 o'clock so uh, I'm winding down after a hard day of putting together a swing. Um, yeah, I still got a, I got a ton of stuff to put away and I still got to make dinner and there's still lots of daylight left. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, a little bit more VR. Hey guys. The flop. What is that? It only took me like 10 tries to join a table. Check. Hey, there's a new one. Check. Look at this now, look. Look at my cards. On you. Oh, you. Ooh, oh. that's cool. Whoa, that's some kind of mud. I grab it. Oh, there we go. I've gone through the world to live now, getting the box of razor blades out. Oh, I'm running the warm bath, don't you worry. Oh. Check. Cool, I like this. Here's with the With electric oh, heater right one. above it. Electric <laughs> heater installed <laughs> above it, yeah. And the bath card. with the toaster. It's yeah, on the rig card. I guess it's on you. Kind of forgot that I've been having, uh, Internet issues all day. Doo -doo. Um, which hasn't been a big deal because I've been out doing stuff. Um, but it makes it hard to play an <laughs> online internet game. Anyway, that's a taste of what Poker Stars is. Um, Poker Stars, of course, is a big online site, but uh, they have this. You're just playing with with free chips. Free chips. You spin that little wheel and you get free chips, and then you go bet with them. That was pretty cool. There was a big update, obviously, because there was I couldn't figure out <laughs> how to use the store, the new store, and that new that new shit that new um what you call it a table or a room where your table is. That was pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna have some dinner. What do you guys think? I have no idea what I'm doing for dinner. Or do I? Nope, I don't. Yeah, let's make some stuff. Uh, I was gonna do this chicken today, but I forgot to marinate it. And I really want to marinate it for a while. It just comes out so much juicier. So I'll have this tomorrow, but uh, just a value pack of chicken thighs. And then I use it, I use it the rest of the week in like salads and stuff, or if I just need a little bit of chicken in, the, in a dinner dish that I'm doing. I don't do anything fancy with it. I, in a bag with a bunch of barbecue sauce. <clears throat> Come on. There's some banging around underneath the cabin. I think the the dogs might, might be chasing a mouse or something under there. 
I haven't had any mice around the cabin in like weeks. I put out a bucket, in, like the peanut butter bucket that I sometimes do, and uh, nothing. It's been out there for a couple of weeks now and uh, no mice. So that's pretty cool. I love how when it's uh, later in the day, the sun kind of filters through the trees and through the window here, and we get this like sunny pattern thing that happens. And then we get in the fridge. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite meals. I know I didn't film it exhaustively like I usually do, but it's essentially it's mac and cheese. And I added a wiener. And I added some veggies. And finally some chili. Some canned chili. Stag chili, I guess it was. It's delicious. I love it. Mmm. It's nice. I don't think it quite, quite, quite as hot as they were expecting. But it is nice. Still got to water the plants. It's just after 8 and it's cooling down outside, which is nice, and there's a nice cool breeze coming in, which is also nice. Anyway, I often get asked what's my favorite beer, and while you might think that it's lime, <laughs> Shit, lime and lager and a gel mug, um, no, it's not. Um, there's two reasons why I really like lime and lagers, one being that it's a nice refreshing drink, the other being that it's a nice cheap drink. I mean, all you need is your... Other than your bottle of lime cordial, you just need your f a cheap domestic lager. Uh, there you go. And the dogs just decided to wake up and <laughs> thump around. And the fridge turns on. <gasps> Another thing that I often mention is is one of my favorite drinks is Guinness. I love Guinness. Um, I've often talked about having a Guinness kegerator there beside my computer for live streaming, so I can just... Uh, but it's not my favorite beer. In fact, what is my favorite beer is right here, and it is 86 Red. Let's go for extreme close-up. Mm. There we go, 86 Red. Do I have the right... Yeah, 86 Red. <laughs> Focus on the can, damn it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so 86 Red is by far my favorite beer. And I used to drink it all the time, but I don't drink it so much anymore because... Two reasons. One is, it's an expensive beer. It's a premium beer. Too bad. And the other is because it's 7.9% alcohol. And you can very quickly get yourself into trouble drinking a stronger beer like that. It's certainly not the strongest beer out there, but it is stronger than normal. And, you know, this, what is this? I can't even read that. So this is 5%, and I will drink, like, even a 4.5% beer in my lime and lagers. But, yeah, so I, I rarely drink this anymore because, you know, you have a couple and whoosh. 
You're feeling great way too fast. But I'm going to have one tonight. Because why not? Um, <laughs> I have no good reason for it. Um, I can't even describe the flavor. It's kind of like a stouty beer. It's just got this delicious, I don't know, caramel flavor that hits the back of your tongue. And, uh, yeah, I just really like that. Um, and I can't remember the last time I had an 86 red. So, treating myself here tonight. Anyway, I'm going to drink this. And then maybe we'll do something later, like Magic Glass. I don't know. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I might take it easy tonight. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Come here, Jimbug. Come here, Willow. No, no, no. Come here. No, no, Willow. Come here. Willow. You boner. This is a switch, isn't it? I'm so happy. Well? I love it. You might need a pillow behind your back because I find it's a bit steep. Oh, uh, no. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it for now. Okay. Did you try it out? I did. I found it. Well, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this wonderful journey this week, folks. Uh, don't forget, on every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, we live stream. you got to be there because we delete the live streams afterwards. So you can't watch them after. Anyway. Do you want to do the pea suit? I don't do Okay, she doesn't do pea suit. <laughs> pea suit! Nice. <sighs> yeah, I can sleep here.